Hello, happy Tuesday. This is Darren Roberts, Master Trainer at Impact Training Corporation and the Abundance Accelerant. Welcome to the Tuesday Tickle and Tick, show number 39. Today, bookending your monthly plan. Yesterday in our Sales Authority Club, we went through with our members about their 30-day sales plan and how to guarantee achieving their target. But today, I want to give you five tips around that target about how to inspire and motivate your staff, how to get them on board as much as possible and how you need to communicate to make sure you're using that plan as effectively as possible. So firstly, the 30-day plan as we went through in our sales authority club yesterday. Of course, if we want to move away from being reactive and be proactive and give ourselves confidence that we're in control of achieving our targets, we need a plan and we call it the planning for good days formula. Darren Hardy calls it the vital signs. What are the key things, the key performance indicators, the KPIs within your business to achieve your target? Now, of course, as you know, that starts from setting a profitability target, knowing your expenses, coming down to how much income we need to generate within the business, what's the yield of the average sale, therefore how many sales do we need to make? And of course, reverse engineering that sales process through your close rate, your show rate, and appointment rate to know how much Activity do we need to do individually or as a team to guarantee achieving target? And that brings two or three things that need to happen over the month to guarantee achieving that target, which gives great confidence in your team knowing exactly what to do. But here are the five things to do. I'm going to assume you know how to do that. Here are five things that make the most of that. Firstly, when you talk to your staff about KPIs and targets and plans, then often they're scared. They often think that key performance indicators or vital signs are used to smack them around the head to see what they're doing badly so that you can tell them off and keep them accountable. We need to make sure that they're aware that it's also to see what are they doing well. So having a plan of attack at the start of a month or a template to compare what's actually happening to also shows you and them what are they doing really well so you can reward and recognize it. You can celebrate the wins and also help them with the things that aren't going so well. Secondly, what are your team driven by? Are they motivated by the competition of individual targets or are they more motivated by a group target or a team target? You need to know this before you go through your planning for good days or setting your 30 day sales plan because you need to communicate in a manner that's motivating them best. Is it an individual target or is it a team target? Thirdly, you need to talk their language. So you might have targets to grow the business, to make a profitability target, maybe to expand, maybe to have a second business, maybe to franchise, maybe to sell it in the future. But of course, that may not drive your staff. So you need to know what drives your staff. If it's in a non-commission role, maybe it's The staff unity, maybe it's having a low stress environment by staying on track throughout the month, taking the pressure off, finishing the month, chasing down target. Maybe it's development through the company. If it's a commission-based role, maybe it's being the best salesperson in the nation or the team or the state or setting a personal best. Maybe it's using commission for that team member to pay off their credit card or to take their partner out for dinner or to save for that holiday or to save for a deposit on a home. That way, when you're talking about those KPIs and those targets, you're not saying, hey, how are we going achieving our target? We're saying, how are we going paying off that credit card? How are we going this month with making sure you can take your partner out for dinner to that five-star restaurant at the end of the month? You've got to talk their language. Fourthly, you've got to involve them in the conversation about their target. We say from a sales perspective, if you say it, they doubt it. If the customer says it, it's true. It's the same with our staff. If you're just talking about, oh, we have to have this as target and this is how we're going to have to do it, it's a one-way street. You need to involve your team in the conversation around what target is challenging but achievable, what rewards are you looking for for this month. Now, you can guide them because if they set a target lower than you want, obviously, you're going to have that conversation. But they need to be involved in the setting of that target and acknowledge that it's a challenging but achievable and acknowledging that they can do the daily activity that is going to achieve that. So there's four things to do around that target. The fifth thing is how you're going to reward 
and recognize it. I was speaking to one of my clients yesterday who actually had a, a phone conversation set up for Friday and he SMSed me saying, listen, can we move the meeting on Friday because we're finishing off the month and we're on track for a record month. There's a good reason to move the meeting. So we had it yesterday and he said that they had a record month. Highest income in their business ever in a month. They hit a million dollars of turnover in one month for the first time ever. And our conversation yesterday was, how do they go about that? What can they do to replicate that in future months? And also, how are you gonna reward and recognize your team members for doing a great job? Rather than just flowing into another month, how are you gonna stop, reward, and recognize? Because us, as adults, are like children. That if we do something well and we recognize for it, we go out of our way to create that feeling again. So we're more likely to take that activity which is gonna get us that success again. So we had a really good conversation. Congratulations, Danielle and your team for that awesome success. I'm sure you'll be able to continually replicate that now that you've got the formula right. So there's five things around the KPIs that we went through in the Sales Authority Club to make sure you're making the most of it. Yes, we need the numbers and the plan and to compare the actual to the template at the start of the month that we set. But we also need to make sure our communication skills to our team or our individuals, make sure that we're talking their language so it inspires them. Now, by the way, the Sales Authority Club we've just launched and it's a combination of online training and four face-to-face -face workshops throughout the year. So it's going really well. We've got a few foundation memberships still available, which saves you an additional value and discounts of three and a half thousand dollars. So if you're interested to find out more, put SAC, S-A-C, yes, Sales Authority Club, yes, in the comments below. I'm happy to help you with that. So it's early in the month, get out there and plan your month, but make sure you're also communicating effectively so that your team are on board. You guys have a great Tuesday. We'll see you next week for the Tuesday Tick on Tick. Bye for now.